Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I'm doing something really different. I'm actually making over an at-home mini kitchen studio and I'm really excited about it. I hope this video gives you inspiration on how to organize um, your own kitchen and make it look really beautiful. I wanna give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them again. They are such an awesome online community that offers thousands of video classes is everything from how to start your own online business to how to take care of your house plants. The course I took this week is called Happy House Plants, How to Pick a Perfect Plant. And I have been waiting to take this course because I kill like every plant that comes into my house. So this was super helpful. I loved the section on selecting healthy plants so you know what to look for when you go into the store. Um, I also loved that each module is how to choose a plant for high light, medium light, and low light because I feel like every home is different and different parts of your home gets different light. So that was super helpful. If you guys would like to get two free months of Skillshare Premium, use my link down below and comment down below on a class from Skillshare that you love to take. Back to the makeover. Lauren reached out to me, she's from Toronto and she has a side hustle in health and nutrition. You guys need to go follow her Instagram. It is filled with the most beautiful food ever. Like her avocado toast game is very, very strong. It's been her dream for so long to start a small intimate cooking class. So she reached out to me to ask to create a little space for her where she could do her cooking classes and also kind of transform her kitchen and dining room area to be more of a reflection of her and her love for food. When I walked into the space, I noticed right away that Lauren has so many beautiful props from like beautiful fabrics to amazing ceramic bowls. Um, she has all these things to take her beautiful Instagram pictures with all of her amazing food that she makes. But they were kind of getting lost on these two shelves and it really made the space feel super closed in. And I felt like all of these beautiful props were just kind of getting lost in these shelves. It was actually like a great way to store them, but it just didn't look really pretty. And it certainly didn't look like a place where you would be inspired to cook. My first task was to get all of the props off of these shelves, put them to the side. There was a lot of props. Take these shelves out of the apartment and kind of start with a blank slate. So I decided that on this wall, I wanted to create a beautiful open shelving moment. And I think that this is actually a good tip for you guys at home. If you have a space that's kind of in between your kitchen and your dining room, and it's a blank wall like Lauren did, you can absolutely fill that with your cooking accessories. You don't have to feel limited to jamming it in your kitchen cupboards or your drawers. And I feel like a lot of condos like Lauren's have this kind of weird in-between space between the kitchen and the dining room. So I wanted to go with floating shelves that were white because I wanted them to kind of blend into the wall and have all of her beautiful props and maybe some glass jars with spices or food in them to pop against the white wall and the white shelves. So I pulled out one of my old tricks. I got some simple glass jars from Ikea. I decanted all of her dried goods and used my retro label maker. And I'm so happy with how this shelf display is already coming together. So at the top, I'm putting the props that Lauren doesn't use all that often, but that are so beautiful. I'm layering lots of things. Actually, a lot of you guys ask me for tips on how to style a shelf. And in this case, I'm just layering a ton of things. I'm putting her art prints right at the back and I'm not afraid to layer things in front to add lots of texture like this black woven basket. And then at the end, I'm just putting this beautiful hanging plant that drapes super nicely. I'm so thrilled with how this wall turned out and I'm so excited because now Lauren's students have a place where they can grab the dried ingredients that they need for the class. And it also just makes her space feel like a foodie owns it. You know, like you walk in, you're struck with these beautiful shelves. And you're like, yeah, this is, this encompasses Lauren. I think it's a perfect balance between function and decoration. So next I am going to try and corral all of the props that don't fit on these floating shelves. I want to create a kind of prop slash cookbook library for Lauren right under her island. The thing about this island is that there's actually storage underneath, which is being used. So I didn't want to take away from that storage, but I also thought there's so much potential underneath this little island to put even more storage. Lauren mentioned that she never really uses the island um, and the stools underneath the island to sit at. She's comfortable prepping things standing, and they also have this amazingly beautiful harvest table 
table that they eat at. It was kind of wasted space. I searched high and low for a cabinet that was the depth of this island because there wasn't a lot of space to work with. So I'm gonna link the cabinets I used down below. They're from Ikea. I just didn't use the doors. I'm actually adding casters on the bottom. So this is going to enable Lauren to pull out the shelves um, when she wants to access that storage under the island. And I think putting them on wheels, these were $5 a pack. Um, it's such a simple way to create movable storage, especially when you live in a small space and things need to move. So now I'm just going around to her apartment and finding all of the cookbooks in all of the different places and I'm color coding them because why not? They just look so pretty. And I'm layering in all of her other props in this cabinet. I think this is so fun because like I said, she's always taking pictures of her beautiful food. Now she can see her props, they're on display, and she can change them out season to season. She knows exactly what she has. And I love open shelving like this because when she runs out of room, it's kind of like she'll have to get rid of something to bring something else in. So it's always gonna look beautiful, it's always gonna look curated, and everything is in easy reach. These shelves also look really great pushed up against the wall under the floating shelf. So she has options. Next up is trying to find a home for the things that don't fit into this cabinet or the open shelves. So things like cutting boards, surfaces that Lauren uses to shoot on. So what I did was actually went out and bought a really big basket. You guys know I talk about baskets all the time, but they're just such an amazing way to make storage look decorative. So I'm just putting all of those bigger items. She has a couple vases that just don't fit on the shelves and these cutting boards and her marble surfaces that she shoots on just won't fit anywhere else. So I'm putting those in the basket, putting those underneath the floating shelves, and I think it just looks really great. It looks like a mini photo studio in here already, and I'm so excited to see it all come together. So next up, it is time to tackle the wall behind me. Now, this is where Lauren and I had talked about putting a little mini bar table. So somewhere where she can have extra seating for her students. She plans to have a class of like eight, so we needed another um, surface. The dining table feels a little bit far from the kitchen, and also it's a low surface, so she wanted something that her students can stand at. To kind of define this area, I'm actually using paint. Hey guys, so we're at Lauren's and I wanted to show you the two different paint colors we have going on here. Lauren was saying how she loves the like terracotta paint color right now. So I brought her a kind of rusty terracotta um, and then my favorite nudie dusty pink, which is called Southern Comfort. I'm gonna link it down below. It's one of my favorite pinks. We stood looking at the wall for so long. I think we've decided that we're gonna go with the pink. I feel like the terracotta is so lovely and bold. She has this black wall and I just feel like that's enough of an accent wall. And then when you bring in the orange, it just is gonna be like a black and orange wall. They're two very different colors. We're gonna go with the nudie pink and then let all of her other accessories kind of pop and jump out. I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like behind the scenes right now. I'm painting the section that's gonna go behind the bar table. And the bar table is gonna be where Lauren's students um, work. So it's gonna be like a separate workstation. And I wanna show you guys how we have done um, the straight line, the crisp line on either side of the table. So we used a shelf and a level and basically just did a pencil mark all the way to the top. And that way you get a really crisp line and you make sure it's straight. Now you could use a laser level for this. Um, we don't have one. I think this accent wall is gonna look so beautiful and just kind of separate the space between, you know, the rest of her dining space and this new workspace. Ultimately, I'm so happy that we went with this pink color. I searched high and low for so long to find the perfect dusty pink. This is it and it's the same color as my bedroom closet. I love how paint can define an area. This is kind of like a mini accent wall, but it really defines the space as like the cooking area. And I'm gonna add some more fun accessories to make it feel even more like a cooking station. So next up I'm adding this kitchen rail. It's just going right above the table and I'm hanging some really cute mint green um, kitchen utensils for her students to use. And then I'm hanging a photo ledge. This is gonna be a place where Lauren displays the cookbook of the class, which I think is so fun. We were also saying that it would be a great place to do little like Instagram posts, like cookbook of the week. And then beside I'm just placing a couple of spice jars so they're in easy reach for her students 
And then I'm putting these beautiful little glass vases on the S hooks. This is where Lauren can keep fresh herbs so her students can just take them and, and use them in their dishes. <laughs> I know nothing about cooking, so. <laughs> Clearly, I would benefit from Lauren's cooking classes, and I actually do intend to enroll in one of them and use this space. But in all seriousness, this is such a cute way to display fresh herbs. All you need is a kitchen rail and these little vases. I'm linking them down below. You can actually also put these on the wall. They come with hardware, so you can mount them on the wall. Now I'm bringing this decorative ladder that Lauren already had back into the space. I think this is so cute to keep an apron or maybe some dish towels. Again, just making decoration also functional. And then on top, right above this whole area, the ceiling is really high. So so Lauren and I went back and forth on what we wanted to put up here. And ultimately, I'm really glad that we decided to use this little felt board. She can put the dish of the class up here or the theme of the class, anything she wants really. I think it's just so cute and ties this whole space together. And then the last finishing touch, these gorgeous stools. I'm so excited about these. I think that they're such a focal point of this space and they're just beautiful. She can tuck them right under the table if her students want to stand rather than sit. I'm so excited with how this space turned out. I loved taking on this project because it was so different than anything I'd ever done before. Time to bring Lauren in and see what she thinks. Oh my gosh! Look at my jars! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, the pig looks so good! Doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you came out with that color. <gasps> with the green little Cute, right? accents yeah. and the labels. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. And then wow. These are all your like, I thought your like prettiest props. Yep. Um, and your dried goods. Yes. And then down here is all of your other props <laughs> and your cookbooks. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Wow. Oh my gosh, they're all in one spot. So then you can roll them out um, if you need to get back wow. you know, into the, the yes. Or if you want people to sit at your island. Right. And they look amazing up against that too. So oh, yes. Oh my gosh. And then in your kitchen, wow. we kind of like reorganize the spices. Yes. So you have all of your spices there. So when you have a class, you take out the spices you need and you put them oh, on there, on the little ledge. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yay, so wow, happy. I have no words other than just, oh my gosh, I'm, <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's beautiful. I'm oh so my glad. gosh. It feels like a different space. Yeah. Like it feels like 10 times bigger. Yeah. It feels like you can fit so many more bodies. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow. And the basket looks so great with the. Oh my gosh, thank Yay, you so much. You're wow. Oh, I'm like out of words. You like it? I love it so okay. much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Leave a comment down below on your favorite simple dish that you like to cook because I need some inspiration. I need to start with the basics, take Lauren's class, but also just learn dishes that are simple and easy and I'd love to know what you guys enjoy cooking at home. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Woo! <laughs>